my name is David Baker, and I'm here to support the Cast and Steel and Forged and Steel competition. We brought together uh, teams from various colleges around the United States who are casting a Halligan bar this year. And we are putting that Halligan bar, myself included, putting that Halligan bar through some really rough testing to see how well they hold up and how well the students have both designed and built their tool. It's an exciting thing to watch, and it's really fun to be part of it. The point of the competition isn't really the, the win or loss thing, don't get me wrong. Everybody's excited to win or lose, but it's really about designing and manipulating a material to create a tool. But this year we, we really pushed the edge as opposed to doing something like a hammer or a, a sword. We, we've done the Halligan bar. And the Halligan bar has so many different aspects. There's the adds, the pick, the fork. And the idea is to challenge the students to figure out, one, how to design it, two, how to make it um, within the, the context of the forging or casting process, and then to see if, it, if what they created is going to hold up to real-world testing. But beyond that, the, the competition is about introducing young people, young students, and usually in the sciences and the engineering wo uh, world, to these companies that are desperate for uh, bodies. They're desperate for innovators. They're desperate for people who want to join uh, American manufacturing. Um, we have more things to manufacture right now than we have people to do it. It's important that we get young people on that track towards manufacturing, whether it's through sciences, art, design, engineering, all of those things kind of lead to what we're looking to, to recruit, basically. And what, I, what I'm uh, talking to Raymond and, and some of the other leaders in this industry about how to bring independence, the, the, the people who were not necessarily on the college track or on the trade school track, who just don't know the opportunity to join this industry exists, even though they have the intuitive skills to make it happen. So one of the reasons Raymond brought me in is because I, I've been a judge on Forged and Fire for the past eight years. And uh, what my background is, is I'm a bladesmith, uh, particularly in, in historic weapons. So a lot of what I've studied is um, the, the design, shape, and, and use of historic bladed weapons and how they're created. They brought me in uh, to give a bit more of a face to what was going on, to draw more attention. But then they realized that they unleashed me on, on, <laughs> on their students and how excited I've become for the program. And I've had the opportunity to hang out with a lot of the students and, and sit and talk with them. And what I love is their enthusiasm for what they're doing. The fact that it's not just sit and design something, it's then go and physically build it. One of the things I do as a Smith is, is try to uh, inspire young people to, you know, put down the phone for a couple of hours and go make something. And the amazing thing about competing and doing um, destructive testing with the things you build is honestly, the more you fail, the more you learn. If everything you did was worked out perfectly every single time, you don't really ha learn how to overcome something. I mean, we've tested some of these bars and had them snap in half and it's like, those students are right there looking at, at the break, going, oh, look, you can see the structure here is not right. You can see we had a gap form in the cooling process. We didn't get the temper right. We didn't, uh, we didn't uh, quench at the right temperature. And, and all those things become apparent when the tool fails. So the important part of, of testing, destructive testing, is you learn the failure point. You learn what caused the failure, and then you learn to figure out how do we build beyond that failure? I'm so proud to be a part of this program that not only prepares students for their careers, but also fosters a community of innovation and excellence.